In 2021, the suspected shooter of Club Q in Colorado Springs was charged with kidnapping their grandparents. Transcripts obtained by Nine News from a series of court hearings for that case tell us more about the suspect's life growing up and their struggle with mental health issues, their relationship with guns, getting their first firearm as a gift at age 16, and that late last year that they were going through therapy and were on meds. But a hearing in August of 2021 showed that Judge Robin Chittum saw the warning signs urging mental health treatment for the suspect, saying at one point in part, quote, if we have a slip and fall mess up on this one, it's going to be so bad. I do think that there was something more that could have been done. DU Law Professor Ian Farrell says the decision whether or not to prosecute resides with the prosecutor, in this case, the El Paso County DA. Farrell says that a judge could appoint special prosecutors to do so, but only in extreme cases. A judge can only do that in circumstances of abuse of discretion by the prosecutor, and that usually means, uh, say, bad faith, some animosity. Towards this 2021 the case, Farrell believes, did not fit the bill. The case was ultimately dismissed in July, the DA saying that they were having trouble getting witnesses, including the suspect's grandparents, to testify. I think this is an example of why preventative measures may often be more successful than putting people in prison after they've committed the crime. Preventative measures, Farrell says, that include the red flag laws. Right now, only law enforcement officers and those close to, say, a suspect like family members can actually petition a judge for an extreme risk protection order. That's what allows confiscation of guns for a time frame of two weeks to a year. District attorneys in this state do not have that power. Colorado District Attorney's Council briefly actually talked about that in a meeting today, but there's no drafted legislation just yet. Alex, it appears some DAs do, though, want to be involved in the discussion if or when a concrete proposal is indeed brought forward. Yeah, and as we learn more facts in this case, you understand why maybe they should be a part of it. And those that want to take it even further, yep. doctors, therapists, yep. uh, teachers, Absolutely. be a part of yep. it as well. Yeah. All right, Luis, thank you.